one issue that came up that I, I didn't talk about this, but I, I forget if this came up in the assignment. I think it came in one in the discussion, maybe Aaron in your discussion session about objectivism as an open or closed philosophy. And those who, um, so this might not ring any bells, but I bet for some of you it does ring bells because this was um, in, the, in the late 2000, uh, sorry, in the late uh, 1990s, so just before uh, um, the 2000s. There was uh, a dispute within objectivism, or, and you can say more especially within ARI, about some of the intellectual figures there. And then there was a splinter organization that David Kelly founded, who was a speaker for ARI, a uh, speaker and writer for ARI, worked with ARI, started his own organization. And part of the characterization of it is um, something about they view it objectivism or something like that as open, and ARI views it as closed. And this, the, I mean, the, that organization has gone through various names. Uh, it's the Atlas Society today. But the, this issue is, comes up and new people checking out Ayn Rand, checking out objectivism, checking out the organizations that are interested uh, or proclaim to be promoting objectivism. You often come across this. And I want to say a word about this because it pertains to the nature of philosophy, and I think how to think properly about what the subject is. Um, because I think the characterizations, and it so will often be put now as ARI is closed, or it, 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 it holds the line that objectivism is closed or something. And open, closed are metaphors. And I actually think that it's a package deal here. You need to distinguish elements and understand so and you can give different answers to these elements of what i think open and closed as metaphors are trying to more uh if we put it more literally capture and i i put it this i make at least these three distinctions if you ask is objectivism open or closed part of what we talked about last time is that objectivism is ayn rand's philosophical theory or philosophical system. You could think of it as its uh, integration of some philosophical theories, but it's a philosophical system. It's the name she gave to her philosophical system. And in that sense, it closes when she dies or, or retires and stops um, further delineating or defining the system. And I think that there's nothing special in regard to that than of thinking of other thinkers and other thinkers in other fields. So there's Darwin's theories in biology or evolutionary biology. And they're Di Darwin's theories. And they end when he stops writing and dies. Then it's, those are his theories in biology or Einstein's theories in physics. They're closed again when he dies or stops writing. And that um, was the perspective that ARI adopted and it's a perspective I certainly agree with. But if you ask, is philosophy open or closed? I think it's a different answer. Philosophy is open. <clears throat> um, so objectivism and philosophy or objectivism and truths in philosophy are not synonyms. So just as there's, I think, many truths in Aristotle's philosophy, but it doesn't mean that, well, no other truth in philosophy can be discovered. And I think it, Ayn Rand discovered further truth. Um, it may well happen that 100 years from now, there's a thinker and you think um, th that th it's new major discoveries in philosophy, new philosophical principles that you then think are true. So there's no claim, and Ayn Rand never made a claim, um, Dr. Peikoff never made a claim, there's no, never been a claim around ARI that philosophy is closed. <clears throat> um, and if you really think of it as it's a branch of knowledge, it's a science, just like the other sciences, you can say 
um, Darwin's evolutionary theories, they're closed when he dies. The, those are his theories. But the subject of evolutionary biology is not closed. And something that is similar is true of philosophy and of a, a particular theory in philosophy, which is what objectivism is. And a third thing that acts is, in effect, you have to distinguish, that, and these are all being run together. And the idea of a package deal is you're running things together that differ either in their importance, in their truth status, in their value significance, and you're putting it all in a package so that you have to say the same thing about all of it. So it's either, uh, do you advocate that it's open or closed? And you have to say, well, open or no closed. And I, part of the reason to distinguish the elements of the package is that you can say objectivism is closed and philosophy is open. And I think that's the right position. And the third axis then is in terms of thinking about organizations. And there's the kind of question, is ARI open or closed? And when these, these issues were really being debated, it was often put um, that ARI is interested only in preaching to the choir. So you only want to talk to people who already agree with you. And that was the sense in which it's a closed little environment. And to get into that environment, you have to sort of be a card-carrying objectivist. And that's the only person we will talk to. And if if you ever step out of line or something like that, we don't want anything to do with you. And so the sense of it, of you, are you open to newcomers, to people who disagree with you? Are you interested in having discussions, debates, um, and so on? And to that, on that axis as well, I would say ARI is open. And if you look at its history in the last 10, 15 years, certainly since I've been here, um, We've engaged with all kinds of organizations, all kinds of different intellectuals, both more on the public sphere. I mean, just think of recently people like Dave Rubin, um, Jordan Peterson, the Weinstein brothers. So um, we've dealt with various organizations. On the more academic side, we've dealt both with, I mean, professors in philosophy and business schools. Um, and on, I mean, you can literally fill pages and pages of a list of, of outside and non-objectivist organizations and organizations that even, I mean, there's significant disagreement about various issues, including philosophical issues. But you can do that in a way that stays consistent to and upholds that objectivism is a closed system. It's not open to anyone rewriting it. It's what Ayn Rand uh, originated and created in creating a philosophical system or a philosophical um, theory. Uh, so that, that's a further perspective. And since there's a, there is ongoing debate about this, it's a further per of thinking about what objectivism is as a particular philosophical theory and thinking about what philosophy is as a science. Um, and the the and trying to get more precise and literal what the metaphors of open and closed might be designating or capturing.